The faculty member that I would think of as my mentor is also my advisor. He's my mentor because if I've ever had a problem in a class, he'd be willing to help me no matter what, um, no matter what the class was, if he was teaching it or not. He's just really been there for me. He's offered to like find me internships out, outside of the campus that would help me to get into grad school and those sorts of things. So I really see him as a great source that I can go to and he's, he's always willing to help his students out. My favorite duck um, would probably be my professor for public speaking this term. Um, I hate standing up in front of big groups and I just remember after my first speech I just felt like I didn't make any eye contact and I was shaking and she pulled me aside after class and said you did a really great job and just little encouraging things throughout the term um, along with her amazing sense of humor. One thing I've learned about college is you got to go out there and do what you're not necessarily comfortable doing and then explore what's out there. In high school so much of what you do is completely based on what the faculty and the teachers there are telling you to do and in college it's so much more on your own and figuring things out for your own. I think that there's a lot of intimidation um, around the whole idea of college. Students naturally think that it's something that isn't attainable to them. College is something that's fun and that it should be viewed as something that's desirable and not just simply a challenge. The strategy that I found in coming from high school to college and the class size difference and how overwhelming it can be was that I was that student who went up to my professors and introduced myself on the first day, you know, so they could connect my face with my, um, my name on a paper. Being in a freshman um, interest group my first term, I feel like was the best decision I made coming here because it was a small group of 25 students in these huge lecture classes. I have two favorite classes. First was a Diseases of Africa class, um, which just really fascinated me and just really brought out, I feel, the best in my academic experience. And the other one was an intro to Islam class. Uh, just really opened my eyes to the broader world. The way that classes are sort of arranged here, you have a lot of leeway with how you choose your schedule. My favorite class that I've taken is American Sign Language. It was, since I do need a foreign language, it was something that I thought would be interesting, but not necessarily something I had a ton of knowledge in. And then I took it and found it to be really interesting. It was a great atmosphere to be a part of, and it's kind of opened my mind a little bit more too, and made me think outside of my own comfort zone a little bit. So far, my biggest class was just probably like somewhere in the 200s, and whereas my smallest class has actually been 18 people. Um, it was a literature class. One of my main draws to the University of Oregon was that they have such amazing study abroad opportunities. They go to over 80 countries. Um, they also have internships abroad. So it was something that actually my mom had always told me about and something that I was really excited about. What's great about the U of O being a, the liberal arts institution that it is, is even though you major in whatever you major in and have your academic interest, you still explore other areas and it, you never know what's going to interest you, and you, especially if you don't try it.